Welcome to class today. Our subject to, we'll be treating today is ag agricultural science. And our topic of discussion is wheat, uses and control, and economic importance of wheat. I am Oyewale Mbarak Adini. Now the course outline. Under this topic today, we'll be talking on one, what are wheat? Uses of wheat, method of controlling wheat, and lastly, the economic importance of wheat. The objectives of today's class. At the end of this class, you should be able to define wheat, explain the uses of wheat, list and explain method of controlling wheat, and List the economic importance of wheat. <clears throat> now, what do we understand by wheat? What are wheat? By definition, weeds are plants considered undesirable in a particular situation, particular plants in the wrong place. Any plant not shown in the field by farmer is out of place and it is called weed. Weed are unwanted plants in an unwanted place. We have natural weed. Those are the weeds that naturally you know that they are weeds. And there are some other weeds that they are used to, they serve as food, but it is because of where they germinate, that is where they refer as weed. Uh, weed. Take for instance, in a uh, rice plantation. So, if there is maize germinating in that particular place, so we refer maize as weed in that particular situation. <clears throat> Examples of weeds, the natural weeds, we have Digitaria, Cyperus, Salvinia, Molestia. And others, we have different kind of weeds. These are the examples of weeds. And this weed we are seeing, for the fact that they are unwanted or undesirable plants, doesn't mean they don't have their own purpose. They have their own uses. From here, we'll be talking about the uses of weeds. Number one, used in human food. Weeds. Some weeds are used as vegetable, which human beings will consume, that is, we eat. Number two, used as fodder. Many weeds are used as fodder for meat animals and other domesticated animals. Number three, used in medicine. Some weeds are medicines. And many records exist predating to ancient history, which tells about the use of wheat for making extracts for different diseases. Number four, use as fuel. One example of use as fuel is the use of Prosopis julifora, which is a tree. People use it as firewood. And we have host of weeds like that, trees. They are weeds, and we make use of them to uh, as firewood. Number five, helpful against soil erosion. Weeds and especially grasses are good soil binders in the fallow land. They help to protect erosion. Number six. Used in making mats and screens. The stems of some weeds are also used in making mats and screens. Cyperus corymbosus and Cyperus pangueri stems are used for mats, and Typha angostata stem are used for screen. Used as green manure, most of the times, feed is irrigated for preparation and weeds are allowed to grow in the field 
And when weeds appear, they are plowed down. They add nutrients. When they decay, they add certain nutrients to the soil. Indicator number eight, indicator of soil nutrients. Different types of weeds are present under specific soil condition. Number nine, we have other economic uses such as they are useful in production of fragrance. Some are used for manufacturing aromatic oil. And also weeds growing in bushy habits are used for fencing purpose. Also, Lantana Camara is as beautiful in fluorescence and it is a plant it is plant now for landscaping. Now we talk on method of controlling weeds. Number one, we have cultural practice, cultural method. Cultural, cultural weed control reverse to any technique that involves maintaining field condition such that weeds are less likely to become established or increase in number. Out of cultural control, we have feed preparation, summer tillage, crop rotation, smoothing, solarization, proper crop stand, intercropping. Also, we have mechanical method of controlling weed. This is refers to any techniques that involves the use of farm equipment to control weed. The two mechanical control techniques most often used are tillage and mowing. Under this mechanical, we have hand pulling or hand weeding. We have tillage, we have plowing, arrowing, disking, mulching, summer fallow, flood, burning. Those are the examples of mechanical method of controlling with. Also, we have biological method, which is the technique that involves the use of natural enemies of weeds to control the germination of weeds or the spread of established plants. That is the use of living organisms, bio agents, such as insects, to limit the growing of weeds. And also, we have chemical method of controlling weeds which is the technique that involves the application of a chemical that is herbicide to weeds or soil to control the germination or growth of the weed species. Now we'll be talking on prevention, preventive weed control, which is another method. Preventive weed control refers to any control method that aims to prevent wheat from being established in a cultivated uh, in a cultivated crop, a pasture, or a greenhouse. Examples of preventive wheat control would be using certified wheat free seed, only transporting A that is wheat free, making sure farm equipment is cleaned before moving from one location to another and screen irrigation water to prevent weed seeds from traveling along irrigation dishes. Now we'll be talking on the economic importance of weeds, which includes which weeds have certain results in agriculture, which might be mostly in the form of different damaging results. However, some way there are also some really useful effects. Number one, wheat can scale back the quality of harvested agricultural merchandise. Number two, the cost of controlling weeds is high. Number three, the presence of weeds can impede water flow in irrigation canals. 
Number five, the presence of weeds in lakes and reservoirs can build up lack of water via transportation. Number six, weed function change host of many plant illness and animal pests, e.g. bugs, rodents, birds, and many others that assault crops. Number seven, the presence of weeds imposes a restrict on farm size. And number eight, weeds impact health of people, stinging nettle and coarse skin rashes, and the vegetation of some different weeds can be associated with allergic reaction in human. Number nine, weeds impair visibility along road and railway lines. And number ten, uncontrolled weed enlargement reduces the value of actual estates. Here we come to the end of today's class. But before I go, here is the assignment. What is weed? What are the uses of weeds? List and explain method of controlling weeds. What are the economic importance of weeds? All assignments to be submitted through the email training at educom.ng. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.